signs, signs, everywhere there's signs. Okay, but not the vinyl kind that you see planted on lines here and there. There are actually signs that Tim Houston is worried that Cape Breton East is about to flip. Listen, the idea that Cape Breton East will be Team Blue forever isn't sound. From 1988 to 2005, Russell McKinnon dominated the riding, then under a different riding name, with one blue blip on the radar. Then he ran it for one more year as an independent after falling out with the party before Alfie took over. Things do not stay blue or red forever. Eventually, they run out of runway and it's game over. And there's a couple signs out there that Tim Houston is worried that Brian Comer's seat is at risk, and I think they're right. You see, calling this sneaky and unethical election has a big risk factor for them. I did extremely well in the mayoral campaign that just preceded it, and I gained a lot of support from the districts that make up Cape Breton East. And what you supported me for in my mayoral bid is in sharp contrast to what the Nova Scotia PCs are offering. That is to say, they're not really offering anything and they still think we'll buy it. Now, about a week ago, they put out a press release and tried to convince the media that, get this, Joe Ward loves taxes. Nice try, folks. Unfortunately, lowering taxes was my number one commitment in my mayoral bid. So next time, you might want to think through that strategy just a little bit more. Then, this past Friday, we had a roundtable discussion on CBC Information Morning. Not really a debate, but close enough. And I called Brian Comer and Tim Houston to account, and the best that Comer could come up with was arguing against more resources for the CBRM. After that performance, suddenly Tim Houston arrived back in Cape Breton and was hanging out with Comer in Bateston. I guess they figured if they hung out for a beer, everyone will forgive them for not providing any property tax relief. Tim is charismatic enough, but if electing him means that I'll be paying too much of my tax bill for the next four years, he's not getting invited to my barbecue. So those are the signs. Tim is worried, Brian is worried, and they should be. Because if you don't make the CBRM your top priority as a candidate that's from the CBRM, then you don't deserve the job. So cast your ballot for me, Joe Ward, because I know what matters, I know what to fight for, and I know that the needs of the community always come first. And the sign says, got to have a membership card to get inside.